guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Omo Mary. So today I'll be showing you how I achieved this beautiful makeup look. I know you want to know how I did it, so keep watching. This video, is, this video. So this video is going to be a voiceover because I found it's going to be a voiceover. Sha. If you want to see how I achieved this look, keep watching. Also, guys, I have nails. Like I have nails. I know it's exciting, they were like, how obvious is it? So guys, I did this look using just one palette. So I'm like, guys, do you see that glow? If you are new, thank you for joining. Wait, have you subscribed? If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? So please subscribe. Also, if you are not new thank you for coming back to watch this video because this makeup be banging so i'm going to start off by priming my lids i'm using the p louis base in rumors for to prime my lids after priming i'm not gonna set it and just move on to the eyeshadow. For eyeshadow today, I'll be using Morphe 3502 palette. It's a second in nature palette. First, I went into the brown color but before to serve as the transition color. Then I went into the orange and kept it. On it, I did a cut crease, then kept the orange. Then I went to the glossy orange, kept it right on that on the cut crease, and a more of a red tone. Then I went into my eyeliner. I'm using the Melo Cosmetics eyeliner called a Melo Cosmetics Eye Precision Pencil. Then I'm going to the Elsa's gel liner to make sure it pops more. It gives you more color, more intense black color. Then I just use my Fenty Beauty sample mascara. On my lower lids I use the same colors I use mostly the orange on my lower lid then I use the Fenty Beauty mascara then I apply my lashes today I'll be using the wink lashes so now that I'm done with my face I'm gonna go into my foundation routine basically my face I'm going to start off by cleaning my face in the micellar water after cleaning I'm going to be priming be using elf moisturizer first moisturize my face then I'll be using the Maybelline baby skin primer then the pond and my t-zones so to avoid me sweating a lot then I'm going to be going into my Rose Elixir Fasari, my Fasari. Then I'll be using the Uda Beauty Foundation today. After applying my foundation, I'm using a brush. I'll be using the Makeup Revolution and the ColourPop for concealers. A dark foundation I think it's a Zikel dark foundation the darkest shade I'm using it to contour my face and I just blend it out using a beauty sorry a brush I, I'm not sure I use a beauty blender throughout this video 
then I'll be using the RCMA powder to set my face then I'm going to the Melo Cosmetics face contour palette to contour my face then using the blush too Add a little color to my cheeks. Okay, so I'll be using the Elegant Pro powder to dust it out. Then I'll be using the Morphe's Continuous Spray to set everything into my face. Then I go into the Elegant Strobe Light Glow. To make sure the glow comes out, I use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus to make to make the colors pop more, to give you a wet look. Then I line my lips. I'll be using the Imagic Eye Magic. I think it's Eye Magic. I'll be using the Eye Magic lip palette. I'll be using a bro a very nude shade close to my lips and a pink just above and blend it. Just I really want the eyes to pop than the lips so I'm giving it a more subtle lips than I so this is the end of the video this is the final look you see that girl if you enjoyed the video hope you learned one or two things and see you on my next one plus don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, please do.